Once again, not a big storage tank in your house. Love it. I Good love for it. when the big one hits, you won't have to put up with any water leaking. <laughs> All right, what's going on? This is Trade Show TV here at BuildX Vancouver. To my right here, this fine gentleman is gonna tell us about who he is and what he does. Here we go. Hello, uh, Matthew A with IBC Technologies. We have a factory out of Burnaby, BC there and uh, co-partners out of uh, Intergas in the Netherlands, uh, just outside of Amsterdam. And we are a boiler manufacturing uh, and uh, air handling uh, manufacturers. Oh, amazing, okay, Burnaby, crazy. Okay. And the European Connection. That's right. Okay, so how did you get into boilers? How did you get into that? I Myself? noticed something. Uh, I got into heating back in uh, Calgary, Alberta, working from a uh, wholesaler as uh, the uh, working in shipping and receiving. Yeah. And then instead of doing what everybody else did after they finished school and going off on holidays, I went right from there into a uh, financing a vehicle and had to pay the payment. So I got into yeah. the heating side in the order desk and then yeah. from there just grew up uh, from the wholesalers and now I'm into the manufacturing side. Wow, so how many years is that now? Yeah, oh, uh, 20. 20 years, oh my God. You look, oh, how do you take you? 41. Like, no way, dude. Yeah. I like, I like, There's chrome in there, but you know. Damn, you man, that's the, that's the George Clooney salt and pepper, man. That's I was right. talking about right exactly. there. Canadian version. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so, so where can we find you guys online, man? Uh, we're just at www.ibcboiler.com. Amazing, yeah. okay. Very good. My man right here. So this is our new tankless hot water teeter. It actually just came out on the market yesterday. So it's it's actually a little bit different than the average uh, tankless water heater. Instead of having flat plate heat exchangers, it's actually a giant uh, aluminum heating block with uh, serpentine copper passageway going through it. And that's where the domestic water would go through. Uh, very efficient. Once again, it's not like a tank style water heater where it's a big tub of water that's needing to be heated up by a burner down below. So you're only gonna burn the gas and save energy um, you're only going to burn the gas, sorry, when you open up a faucet and you need domestic hot water. And the very simple controls, you just touch that guy there and touch that there and on, you can set the temperatures just with that and then set it. So very, very, very simple to use, very low maintenance because there's very little moving parts. We got the gas valve here, a fan in here and a, a flapper in there and that's, that's pretty much it. So they're out, out in the market and available as of yesterday. How much do one of these things go for? It, well, it, it, it all depends. It, it's We deal through wholesale distribution, so we don't really have a retail price for it yet. So it all depends on the application. I see. But how much in terms of savings for energy and stuff like that? And, and once again, I mean, it's it's mostly 30% when it comes to a home. But once again, it all depends on who's living in the house, how many people, how many washrooms, and how often you're going to use it. Gotcha. But I assume like with the maintenance and stuff that you don't have to do, tons of money. No. No, it, it's, they're just insanely convenient and they're, once again, not a big storage tank in your house. Love it. I Good love for it. when the big one hits, you won't have to put up with any water leaking. <laughs> Damn, man, I love this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that user interface, man, with the touch. Super simple. Yeah. Keep it easy. Yeah, we'll put all the, exper all the technical stuff in our cars. <laughs> Save all the easy stuff for the water heater.